Welcome to the productions of Super Hog Inc. Thank you for viewing with us today. We're here to put on a major production entitled A Night Out with the Hogs. Hi folks, Doc Walker with you and welcome to this week's edition of The Legacy. Man, this is crazy because we get a chance to go old school, new school with one goal in mind, and that is to win. And our guest today is the head hog. He wore number 74, but with all of us, he was always number one. The captain, <laughs> George Suck. Silk, how you doing, man? I'm doing great, Doc. Great day to be alive, my brother. Of course, he's head hog. I love him, And hogs. he's a Super Bowl champion. And he is really the longest tenured member of the Burgundy Gold that I played with. He was the guy, when you came to town, he introduced you to Washington, D.C. Spend a moment on that, George, because now, you know, teams out in Ashburn, out in Virginia, they play in Maryland. But back in the day, you were part of that core group that was actually in the District of Columbia. Well, the, there, there are only two Redskins that ever lived in the District of Columbia. It was me and Bobby Miller. And Bobby had retired by the time I came along, so it was just me. And uh, the, the reason I lived in Washington, and all, you know, to be candid as I could possibly be, is that there was no nightlife in Virginia. That's right. So it was before there were any bar, there was, no, there was nothing out there. And so the guys would come in and they would drink a little too much sometimes. They'd have to drive home at night. That's right. You were very kind in that. Yeah. And I thought that was, I didn't think that was the wisest thing. I said, you know, if I'm going to have a few, two extra pops, I want to just be able to get home in the block. Mm -hmm. So I chose to live in D.C. And, and not in Virginia. Washington, D.C. is really the capital of the world. And, and, uh, and I became very caught up in the fabric of Washington, became close friends with the mayor. And Washington is not a very big town. So everybody that's anybody knew anybody knew each other. So I knew all the politicians and I knew the mayor and I'm the I'm Washington's redskin, to be honest. With you. And as you know, one day I decided that it, to bring you young Virginia guys into the District of Columbia because it is the capital of the world. And of course, as you know, I, I felt that it was appropriate to have a dinner at the Palm. Yes. I felt I felt that uh that at the time, which by the way started in the, in the famous poster of Hogs Night Out, Night Out. I love him and, and how that where that came from was that I'm not sure if it's legal within the league or not, but uh, after a, a football game, you know, football teams and coaches kind of you know reward players that had good games. So if Dexter got two sacks, you know, he got a couple hundred bucks. Right. If Art caught two touchdowns, he had a couple yeah. hundred bucks. And the coach would be passing out $100 bills. But if you're a lineman and you have a perfect right. day, nothing happens. No. So you, open you don't get mentioned all. unless you're holding. Yeah. Right, exactly. So you open the hole, John Wiggins gets 200 yards. and our Bill Bill Washington. Gets, yeah. Yeah, Jerry. So the line, if we have a perfect day, nothing. And I felt that uh, the Redskins, Jack and Cook specifically, owed us a reward because at that point, we were the odds. I agree. Don't let the comfort fool you. Don't let the attention to detail lead you to believe that a Honda is a delicate machine. <laughs> You'd be wrong. Underneath every surface that carries a Honda badge, there has always been the capacity to amaze. Rise to the challenge with the rugged performance of the Honda Pilot, Passport, and Ridgeline. Free health care, hundreds to more than $1,000 per month in disability compensation, and tens of thousands for college tuition. These are just some of the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs benefits that may be available to veterans. VA is focused on customer service like never before. Choose VA and see why veterans' trust in VA reached an all-time high. Claim the benefits you've earned at choose.va.gov. COVID changed everything. More demands on students, parents, educators. But there was a $4 billion education shortfall in Maryland even before COVID. We have a lot to do for our kids. Close the digital divide, provide opportunities to pursue vocational and technical education, and hire more qualified teachers. Question two will put millions into Maryland schools using revenue from sports betting. I know it won't solve every problem, 
but a yes vote will help our Maryland schools. The best team has a great sense of family. The best family has a great culture. And within that culture, there is great character. When you have all those elements come together, you've got a team. Brought to you by your local Honda dealers. This fall, find adventure in a new Honda. Jack and I had an interesting relationship, not necessarily a bad one. Right. But I knew he's the cheapest guy on the planet. Yeah, you said no that. No way. You said that. <laughs> There was no way he was going to come up with a way to reward the offensive line for the great play that we were having when everybody else, you know, we're ducking while Dex is getting up. Dex yeah. plays two plays. I love Dex. So yeah. Dex plays three plays a game. Yeah. He's happy. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't play the run. He doesn't care, you know. <laughs> He's got 300 bills. And he got... Anyway, so I thought, well, a good way to reward the offensive line and introduce them to the District of Columbia, where they should be a part of, because it is the capital, was to invite everybody down. I called, I knew the guys that ran the Palm Tommy over there, and uh, and we did the famous, and I, we had dinner there. And uh, and, I, and I and I remember thinking, well, we don't want to, you know, we might have too much champagne. Right. Don't want to drive drunk, so we got a Can't limo do company. That. Can't got do a that. Limo company. You were responsible. You were our adult, and you were <laughs> responsible. Got limos for everybody. Yep. Then I said, "Well, <laughs> Russ and Jake." I said, "I bet you they don't own a jacket or a tie." Which of course, no, they didn't. no, no. Got somebody to to do the tuxedos. Right. So we got someone to dress everybody in tuxedos. We had limos, so nobody's driving. Everybody's looking good. And of course, introduced the hogs to Washington, D.C. through dinner at my favorite restaurant, which was the Palm at the time. Yeah. And uh, we had a good time and uh, ate a lot of ribs and we sang a lot of songs and we drank a lot of champagne. And and uh, I remember when uh, Tommy, the general manager, came over to check and he said, uh, he said, George, what are you going to do about the check? I had an account there, so I could have signed for it. Right. I knew Jack had an account there, too, because he and I would eat there at different times, because we, we Yeah. And I said, Tommy, I said, I'm going to sign Jack's name. He said, you're going to sign Jack Ken Cook's name to a $6,000 check? You know, Jack's going to go right. effing nuts. I said, yeah, but you know, he owes us the money, and he's never going to pay us. So this is his, right. this is his opportunity to, to square right. this thing up. And uh, so you you were there, so that's what happened. And that became the post, the famous August night that post. And uh, the uh, the next day, I got to work about nine. And Jack had been there since like six, and he fired everybody that walked through the door because he wanted to fire me, but he, I wasn't there yet. So he fired Joe Gibbs, he fired Joe Bugle, he fired all the coaches because they get there early. And I got there, and, and Joe Gibbs says to me, what have you done? Jack has fired us all. Everybody's fired. Yeah. He wants to fire you, but you're not here yet. So anyway, that worked out. Um, Jack and I ultimately worked it out. Uh, but that became the famous, as you know, Hogs Night Out poster. And after that, everybody, all the restaurants wanted the Hogs to come. Remember that? That's right. Oh, so we, we ate well. <laughs> it became a thing. Yeah. Then every restaurant went out of their way to try yeah. to talk us into putting our tuxedos back on. That's right. And that feeding us. And we would remember we did that. Yeah. You know. So it be but but winning sort of begets winning, you know. Is that if we were losers, that wouldn't have meant anything. Mm -hmm. It's because uh the hogs were the hogs, and without a doubt, to this day, we are the most famous offensive line to ever play in the NFL. Um that as a group we're not into the hall of fame is one of my big bitches but that's you know that's a whole nother conversation you would have been a monster <laughs> with social media <laughs> that is right <laughs> that's a scary thought <laughs> i think we should end this on that george you on social media oh with God. the famed hot tub let's go oh. out on that one hey folks thank you all for watching the legacy that is the head hog george stark Doc Walker with you. Tell you what, man, this doesn't happen by ourselves. Kyle, Stevie, 
Our crew is fantastic. So thanks to all of you, and we'll see you next week right here on The Legacy. Well, it's been quite a treat today, and I'd like to um, say that when you spend time with the hogs, you can't help but have a hog wild time. Hope that sooner or later you get to see us perform on the gridiron. I'm Rick Walker for Super Hogs Incorporated. This is London Fletcher. Join me in supporting the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration's Red Ribbon Week and National Prescription Drug Take Back Day. Talk to your loved ones about drug misuse, participate in drug prevention and education activities, and take the pledge to be drug free. Then on Saturday, October 24th, clean out your medicine cabinet of unused, unwanted expired prescription drugs to take part in National Prescription Drug Take Back Day. Visit DEATakeback.com to find a collection site near you. It's 2020, let's make a splash. Play the DC Lottery's Roaring Cash. COVID changed everything. More demands on students, parents, educators. But there was a $4 billion education shortfall in Maryland even before COVID. We have a lot to do for our kids. Close the digital divide, provide opportunities to pursue vocational and technical education, and hire more qualified teachers. Question two will put millions into Maryland schools using revenue from sports betting. I know it won't solve every problem, but a yes vote will help our Maryland schools. The best team has a great sense of family. The best family has a great culture. And within that culture, there is great character. When you have all those elements come together, you've got a team.